Come here, Maggie, Maggie, get over here. Come here. It's like a, what is that, squirrel, rabbit, a oh, deer, that's deer hair. There's Maggie. All right, we're on a pretty local piece of public over here, and this is a training episode with Maggie, because she still hasn't started treeing yet, so there's no point in really calling this a hunt. This is an occupied, well-used squirrel hole right there. If you're looking usually for a living tree, you have the hole diameter between four to six inches. There's my Maggie. Good girl, Maggie. What you doing? It looks like she's tracked it right through this hole down here. What is it, Maggie? Huh? What is that? Huh? If there's a big tree, she tracked it too. Huh? What is that? Huh? <laughs> She's hearing a woodpecker. <laughs> you can see how tense she is because she's <laughs> a lot of um, uncertainty of being a puppy in the woods. So she's tense around everything, but she's got this natural drive that she wants to go chase stuff around and figure it out. Could be coyote prints. Well, there's another chunk of woods over there we might as well hit and then come here on the way back. Auditioning to become a pheasant dog. Jumping through this stuff. Probably more like raccoon. But I can be optimistic as beaver for trapping season. <laughs> Or a coyote trying to get a woodchuck. Holy shit. Well, all, that's over, all that over there is public also. I've been through there in the spring. We're actually going to go close to where Max got his first squirrel. <laughs> so right up here is where uh, I shot that first squirrel out to Max. Dude, there was a squirrel here, not more than two minutes ago. Fresh cut acorn. Maggie took off up here somewhere. And I shot it, wounded it, fell down, and Max finished it off. And he was, you know, a four month old puppy. <laughs> Yep, there's a squirrel right there on the tree. <laughs> Good girl, she tracked that. Oh, look at those rack of eyes. It's up this tree. But I got a secret that I brought along, and I'm gonna take it out. All right, I finally got this. I brought this little uh, slingshot with me. And if I can see the squirrel, I'll start shooting some uh, clay, clay ammo up there and see if Maggie can start looking up in the tree.
I couldn't even see where it went after I initially saw it run up this tree. We'll just move on. There's plenty of good woods to work this way. This thing is huge. Huh. I don't know what that was. Maybe someone's uh, duck hunting. No way we were quiet enough to have the squirrels not know we're coming. She's more familiar with running around the woods as opposed to cornfields and swamps and stuff. And as soon as we get back here and take it and chill out, she's right back to smelling. And she's probably on at least a, a scent trail somewhere. I wonder if there was a squirrel in here that buried an acorn or something. Oh shit. That's a acorn nut, right? Was it a fucking rock? Oh, it's really hard. I think it's a rock. <laughs> so she is eight months. And she doesn't look like she's even, she's like halfway mature. <laughs> like she doesn't have adult facial features. Her ears haven't pricked up, which they should to be uh, for a true mountain feist as opposed to a treeing feist. They're supposed to have pointy ears. Oh. Jumping on this tree. This is that same tree. This is the first tree she was treeing at. Treeing at. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that opossum. I mean raccoon. This has got to got have squirrel sign over it. I mean classic. If you set up a, if you set up a 110 condor bear somewhere on here, you'd probably be catching squirrels every day. <laughs> Alright, we're going to give a shout out to Max Selvage who subscribed and commented on the last video. And that's the only one. But we're very grateful to have you, so thank you for that. What do you think, Maggie? <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> yeah. Alright, she's excited too. Thank you for that. And same thing goes, if anyone subscribes and comments below or anything random uh, in this video, we'll be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. What is that, Maggie? Where did you find that? Get it, Maggie. Yeah. So she just found a, a squirrel tail. Get it, Maggie. Oh, she wants it. Go get it. Go get it, Maggie. Get it. Oh, look at her. She's shaking. She wants it. Oh, get it. Get it, Maggie. Keep going. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it, Maggie. <laughs> fucking chances of a squirrel tail out here unless someone was hunting, you know? I gotta go. <laughs> Don't really want her to get it until she barks. That's so weird that she found a freaking piece of a squirrel tail. <laughs> get it. Get it, Peggy. I'm, gonna just, I'm trying to get rid of this now. Yeah. We're gonna get away from that real quick. All right, we're good. <laughs> oh, just a bird. Just getting confused by the birds. There's a couple dens and holes up here too. This last hour here, after she found that squirrel tail, she really picked up and started going crazy on, on the ground on some of them. So she's really starting to work. Those ears make her look like a little pig. <laughs> oh, we made it back. 
See you in the next one. Maggie. Come here, puppy. What are you doing?